Hey everyone, I'm a little bit early, so if you catch this later, no, you weren't late. I just went on early. Hi everyone. Uh, been a while since I've done the hands of Anna Walker, but I wanted you to see what I'm working on. I am still working on the fiery color, but I am using a new technique that I learned the past two years from Nadia Zbo who is, I believe, a Hungarian felter who taught at the past two felt camps that I was fortunate enough to have the funds and to um, attend virtually. I saw some of the workshops uh, live. Uh, most of them, though, I have saved so that I can practice them when I have time. And this is a new technique to me for doing Nuno felting and for doing wet felting. And I am using it to give a nice little background to our wonderfully fiery pieces for this collar. This is the super thin uh, painter's tarp that you can use when you're painting the inside of your house. And it's two layers, but it's two layers that have my fiber and my felt pieces. So all I did was I laid down the collar as I spoked it out underneath the bottom layer of the pool of the um, plastic wrap and made my laid out my black merino so that it would give a nice base underneath all of those spokes. Then I wetted it down with my soapy water. And right now I'm using a diluted Castile soap um, as my base and an old uh, Simply Juice container as my shaker since I am uh, working mobily. And then the second layer comes on top after it's wetted out. But here's the thing. You have to roll out all of the air so that it really creates a vacuum seal around the felt and the fiber. And then instead of rolling, we smack it against the table gently. Now I have gone around um, about 50 times with the top side and smacking it around from all four sides on the front. And now I'm doing the last of the four sides and doing a hundred smacks. I think I'm about to 30 now. And then when I get done with this, I'm gonna flip it over again and I might just take it out of the plastic. I think we're at about 50 now and see where we're at. But you see, even with all that thumping and flumping, it doesn't go anywhere because it's got that vacuum seal. So what's happening is me lifting and dropping gently is creating the necessary agitation to get the fibers to felt. And because they're in this vacuum situation between those two layers of very, very thin plastic with the soapy water in between, those fibers aren't going anywhere. They're gonna stay right there and they're gonna migrate right there. So the fibers that I laid out right over this collar are gonna migrate into the spokes of this collar, I hope, fingers crossed. I think we're at about 70 now, so let's do about another 30. Now when Nadia was doing this, she's an expert. She was taking one hand on one side and then going with the other hand on the other side and then like this, I, I am not so coordinated, so I have my two bottles holding it down there so that I can do the lifting and dropping, the shaking, from one side only. And that's keeping me a little more sane. But I am going to be experimenting with this technique all summer long while I'm here in Iowa. And so you're going to see this an awful lot. And you're going to see it with different um, fibers, different fabrics. We're going to be playing a lot with this. And that just kind of leads me to flipping it over here and to letting you know what to expect for the next um, several weeks. Now, most of you know by now, here's the collar. Isn't that going to be fabulous? I just thought 
that with a fiery descent collar, we needed to know why we were fiery and it's because it's so dark right now that we need to be the light. We need to be the spark and the flame that shows the way out of this craziness that's going on. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I am going to be working on this technique in various different ways and in different projects the entire summer. So our usual format is not going to be happening. We're going to be just playing as I am able to play in between appointments for my mom. And I want to take a look at this and see, oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay, I may need to do this a little bit more, but guys, this was fiber and now it's a collar. I'm gonna lift that up a little closer. This felted, oh my gosh. And the fiber that was the spokes has done a really good job of attaching to the black underneath. I think I just need to give this a tiny bit more work and it will be ready to rinse and dry. I, oh my gosh, I can even, okay, all right, so this is a game changer, a huge game changer. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. So I expected this to work because I trust Nadia and the work that she did to make this happen. But I had no idea this would happen so quickly. Oh, this is a game changer. You can see, I am just scrubbing the daylights out of this. The spokes are not going anywhere. And I love, oh my gosh, I love that I'm seeing a little bit of the black peeking through the flame spokes here. This is amazing. Holy, holy crap. Nadia, I absolutely, I, you got me sold on a new technique. Oh my gosh. I am looking forward to seeing where this goes from here. I'm going to flip it over and do a little rubbing from the other side as well. You know, I'm an equal opportunity scrubber. This is my, um, Wonderful little rug tray that I picked up, I think at Walmart, uh, maybe at Bed Bath & Beyond, who knows? I mean, it could be any place where you get stuff like that. Could have been Target, who knows? Um, but I like to use this for wet felting when I am in a limited situation as far as space goes, because I can put this on just about any table. Right now I'm working on a card table which you can probably tell because of the way the table is shaking as I'm scrubbing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at this collar. All right, I gotta squeeze it out. Give it a little love, little squeezes. All right, guys. This is a game changer. There is our first descent color. All felted up, ready to finish. All of these wonderful fiery spokes with that black background. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I am hooked on this new technique. This is why you have to play when you are felting, you have to, have to, have to play. Now, tomorrow, I believe that I have a throwback video set up for you. And then I am going to take Monday off and we are going to um, head over to a family reunion. But, oh my gosh, isn't this amazing? Wow, and we even haven't been here for 10 minutes. Holy, holy cow, so this is ready for me to rinse it in hot water, then cold water, then hot water, then cold water, to um, squeeze out all of the soap, to get it nice and clear, and then to squeeze out all the water and to block it. And then I can determine what I'm going to do for finishing this up before 
attaching it it's not going to have the cord anymore i mean originally yesterday we were going to have this cord come through and that was going to be how we were going to tie it but i think i'm going to use ribbon jewelry findings of some sort to create this fabulous collar this fabulous descent collar and i will show it to you next week and hopefully i'll have it all done so that is uh, our time for today. I will see you again on Tuesday. Until then, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you go stab something or scrub something into existence. And I will talk to you all next Tuesday. All right? Be good. Be safe. Be fierce. Be voting. Talk to your friends. Let's, let's change this stuff that's going down. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.